Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to say, uh, well, good morning. And I also wanted to tell you thank you for um, your patience with me and like, this whole process of, you know, trying to get everybody caught up. Everybody's been absent on different days and then trying to remember who has what work and who doesn't. I know I still didn't get it right because there's no way to do that unless I had about, you know, 10 assistants. So, um, if, if it comes up, you know, we have our work, when we're going over our work, if somebody's missing something, um, you know, we're not going to stress out too much about it unless it's something that is vital and very important. And then if it is and it's something they're missing, I'll just have them, you know, work on it during PE or either they may have to bring it home. Parents, uh, please make, your, make sure that your child does his or her work. Make sure that they do it and that nobody else does it for them. Now, I don't mean that it is uh, not okay. I don't mean that nobody can help them. Absolutely. You know, an older sibling, you can help them. You know, another family member, that's fine. But I need them to do their work um, because that's how they're going to learn. They need to practice a little bit each day, you know. And so, in order for them to learn, they need to be the one to practice. Um, also, for the work, I have a little bit of tolerance, about this much tolerance for pages that are brought back blank. And, and because, now I understand if you're sick, totally get that. But if you bring it back blank and you say, I didn't know how to do it, to me, that's unacceptable. I feel like everybody needs to try. So I'm requiring that everybody try. If you get it wrong, that is okay. We can go over that. I can pull them over during class over the next week or two. We, I'll be glad to go back over that. Um, I don't mind at all. But anyway, I just wanted to remind you of that. Everybody has to try. So with that said, deadline for work is Monday. We'll have Google Meets today, which is Wednesday and tomorrow, Thursday. We will not have one Friday. They'll be at 10. We use the same Google Meet that we started on uh, Monday night, or and it's the same one that we used yesterday, too. Um, I just remember that Identity Kids coming up, it was postponed. We've got class group pictures that are coming up, too. Uh, well, we've already had the class group pictures, but the deadline's coming up. So um, I'll do videos in math and reading. I did yesterday's. I just don't have them posted yet. Um, and now it's 8.30, and I don't have uh, math and reading done as of yet. My internet at home is terrible. And when I say terrible, I'm not exaggerating. Um, I had this lovely plan of getting it posted last time, but it just didn't work out that way. So it may be now I've got everything uploading. So give me a little bit of time on that each morning when I come in. And I'd say check your work every day about maybe between 9 and 10.30. That's when I'm hoping to get everything loaded, you know, up and loaded. And I'm only going to do lessons for, uh, for, as of right now, I'm only planning math and reading and English. But you still need to check science and social studies every day to see if I posted anything there, okay? What I'm doing is each day I'm kind of looking at the lessons and I'm seeing if it's something that I think I need to mention to you or if it's something that you can do on your own. If it's something you can do on your own, then I won't make a video. Um, you still need to check, kids, you need to check your email, um, your email a couple of times a day and check Schoology every day for um, announcement, announcements and for assignments. Uh, if there's if there's work that you're working on and you don't see what day you're supposed to do it, that just means I want you to work on it, you know, a little bit each day, okay? I think I did put down, um, for specifically for reading and for math, I think I did put down dates on there, but if I didn't, there's no date on there, I still need you to do it. I need you to try it. And this is all review. We've been doing multiplication by two by two digit numbers for about two or three months. And so everybody should be fluent with that by now. They shouldn't need much help, if any. All right, um, we're starting a classroom economy. I told some of the kids about this. I'm really excited because it's gonna help them learn the value of money. It's gonna help them learn that they have to do things in order to earn money. And I hope that it, it helps you. I hope that it helps them see that you have to save money to buy things. Um, because in our classroom economy, um, 
the, they have to apply for jobs. I'm getting ahead of myself, so I'll stop there and read my notes. They have to apply for jobs within our classroom. We'll have jobs like bankers, and we'll have, uh, the bankers are the people who you know, give your checks to, they'll, they'll get actual paychecks. Well, fake paychecks, but well, non-authentic paychecks, I guess you could say. But they still have to keep up with it on their bank log, you know, just like balancing a checkbook, they have, they'll have to do all of that. Um, and then they will be able to buy things from our classroom store. And I'm gonna need your help with that, so I'll tell you a little bit about that just a little in a few minutes. Um, but they have to save up for, uh, to buy things from the classroom store. I think that's gonna help them appreciate you too, to see rather than, hey, mom and daddy's not a bank, they have to work for their money and they have to save up. And um, this is what, this will be a life lesson for them too, because they'll see that later on, you know, you can't just go buy something. You have to have a plan because every dollar, you know, as you know, I want them to see that every dollar has to go somewhere and that they have to save up in order to be able to make those purchases, okay? So they get paid for their jobs. Some of the jobs, we have a banker, we have police officers, and of course, everybody wants to be a police officer because the police officer officers can write fines. Well, they write fines because like, uh, let's say, for messy desks, they could get a fine for not doing their homework, um, not getting their work done on time, but then they also get bonuses. Um, if they do every, you know, like every once in a while, I, I may, may uh, you know, give them a bonus. And um, for, if I've been working on them, you know, working with them and trying to train them to do their job, I mean, you have to do their job and to keep their desk clean or to keep up around their desk clean or, um, you know, maybe walking in a line in the hall quietly, uh, cleaning up after themselves at lunch, not running in the lunchroom line. It'll be whatever procedure I feel like we need to work on that week. I'll probably give out bonuses, but it won't be all the time because in real life, most of us don't get bonuses. But I thought that I would do that um, just to kind of give them some kind of incentive. Uh, we'll have att uh, um, attendance takers, We'll have librarians, we'll have teacher's assistants, we have substitutes, we have, I'm trying to think of some of the others, clerks, things like that. Um, and they're so excited about it, they can't wait. Um, let's see. So they, uh, I think I mentioned this, but they, they'll have to keep up with their checking account, debits and credits. Um, we'll have, uh, non-authentic money too. I've got all the money and I've got I've got it copied. Um, where they can buy things in our class store. But they they automatically see how expensive everything is because they have to pay rent too. And rent is $500 of their paycheck. Well, if they only make 650, you know, that's only 150 extra dollars, but then you've got to pay for but the rent is for things like, you know, of course, their desk is their place to be. Um, and then food, those kinds of things. That's all included in the rent. But, um, so they'll see, and if they get fined, that money's gonna go quick. So they're gonna see, you know, how quick money goes. And I think that that will be good. I think, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that you'll be able to see the reap your rewards from that. Um, and this is where I need your help. I need your help with items that the kids, we made a list, this is the list that we made together. And if they see things in the store that they want, it's going to make them, um, I, I'm going to reap that, those rewards in class. I feel like you will at home too. But uh, with their jobs, I don't, I don't know where I was going there, but anyway, um, whenever they have the, uh, so when they have to save up, that's a good lesson too, because they'll see that like you, you know, when you tell them, I don't have money for that this week, I don't have money for that, they'll be able to see how that feels and they'll be able to understand that because if they see a bracelet in the store that they want or something that they want, they'll see, I just can't, I can't get it right away because I gotta pay my rent or I gotta pay this or I gotta pay that um, or your fines. Anyway, so moving on, uh, I get a little sidetracked there. So items that we need. Um, some of the kids said slinkies, fake money, Hot Wheels, bracelets, books, candy, paper, footballs, color pens, glitter pens, lead pencils, bubbles, coloring books, drinking cups, like the plastic drinking cups. Um, let's see. 
Oh, the packets, the little packets of um, flavors that they can put in their waters because they, everybody pretty much brings water now. Um, watercolor paper and then the watercolor paints, um, soccer balls, footballs, um, any kind of small, and those need to be small, not the big ones. Um, uh, school supplies, squishies, neon glow, slime, um, cards, card games, yo-yo, jump rope, earbuds, poppets, fidgets, candy canes, little notebooks. I got them some of those for Christmas and they, oh, they had a fit over those. They also like those pens that have different colors in it. They are fascinated with pens. Notepads, art supplies, um, anything like that. And so, uh, if you're, you know, in the dollar store or at Walmart or something and you see a packet of, you know, you see a bag of something and you think, oh, I bet that Miss Carrie's class could use that in their class store, please get that for us. Um, and you know what? It can also be toys and, you know, little stuffed animals, things like that. We don't need big things because I don't really have anywhere to store them. But, uh, so the smaller things would be great. Um, also, if you know anybody, like a store or anything like that, or if you have a family member and you think that they might want to uh, donate some money, that would be fine too. But if you write a check or if you have a class in town, I mean a store in town, um, ask them to write a check to Wee Dowie Middle School, not to me, because I'm, I'm gonna buy it for the school. Um, and that way it'll be tax deductible for you. So keep that in mind. Um, so please let me know in the comments below if you have anybody that can, um, if you know of, of a store or a family member um, that you think would not be willing to donate. And again, make that to Wee Dowie Middle School, okay? Thank you so much, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day.